Hello community, I hope you are doing good. In this discussion, we will see how to use XML RPC outside of the Odoo. This is the first session of the XML RPC and in case you missed previous discussion about introduction about the XML RPC, please check link is given in the description. And if you want to learn more about Odoo, you can visit the Weblands channel. Under the playlist, you can see Odoo development label is here and once you click here you can see different playlist available with the different topic wise with the real test cases so let's back to our main topic like how to access odoo's data outside of the odoo using the xml rpc all right so right now you can see i have hosted this odoo service in the macbook right you can see here i have one more uh, device which is the windows device and over there like i will try to access this data so first i will try to let's say get all the let's say list of all these 38 contact details in the windows system in the python script all right so hey guys you can see here this is the windows system and i will try to like create uh, one more python script here and before that uh, you can see here this is the command prompt right and simple i will try to uh, let's say access this server so basically this is hosted in the macbook and i'm trying to get the data like i'm trying to access this odoo from my another system right so you can see here the customers and you can see here all these 38 customers i want to get in the python script right so this is the url if you already know about the first session in introduction about the odoo right so over there like we need a four informations from the odoo side like first one is this url the second and third one is the username and password and fourth one is the database name right so you can see here this is our macbook right and you can see here odoo 161 database is here right and for more information you can see here odoo 161 this is the database and here in the configuration side you can see also this one right odoo 161 161 means uh, Odoo version 16, right? This one is the like I have added the extra one. Okay, so don't confuse here. All right. So in the notebook, right? I will try to like add here the XML RPC library, and using that I will try to access login from the Python script. Okay. So for that, like I will use like from XML RPC import client all right and i will give you here as an alias name like xml rpc lib okay and uh, the first thing is the url of the odoo right the second thing is the user like let's say the password and the db name so here the first thing is like http right and simple what i will try to do is like i will create i will copy this url copy and paste here right and make sure you don't need to add any uh let's say forward slash right you can just use like this and later on we will see where to use so username is admin password is let's say as an admin and our database name is odoo 16 1 right now we are using odoo 16 community version which is the latest version right now and in this november like a new latest version 17 is also launch all right now here like i will use like common as a variable like xml rpc lib dot like let's say i will try to call this server proxy right and here simple i will try to add a url after that like i have to add here the xml rpc slash and uh, command so this is the object we it will allow uh, to authenticate with the odoo right and here simple it will return user in case the authentication is good right 
So automatically you can see here it would return ID of the specific user, this admin user I mean. So here let's say this common dot login, right? So this is the first step, right? DB. So first parameter is the DB, username and password. That's it. And simple we can use here the print statement auth and the ID is let's say the user and I will try to save this file inside here in the desktop right and simple I will try to add here so rpc.py right and simple I will try to go to here and desktop okay and simple I will try to execute like Python and rpc.py file oops so password is not defined that means uh, let's say we use the wrong variable here save right and re-execute throws the exceptions it says like socket gear and uh, get data here failed and we have to find out the root cause oh sorry uh, you can see here Uh, sorry my bad and I didn't notice the URL right and let me oops yes so let's say python rpc.py so it says like strn the must be str not int right so here uh, let's say have to either type cast this one because it will return as a integer right so I will just using the format in the print statement and now you can see the auth ID is the 2 right so it will return as a 2 and uh, this is the successfully we access the Odoo admin user outside of the Odoo right and let's say if by mistakely I will change password something else right and I will try to re-execute the Python and now you can see it will return as a false right so false means authentication is failed uh, due to any reason uh, let's say the username and password all right and for example let's say the database name is different right and if you are trying to access that one you can see here it will throws the long exceptions let's say the database this one is not exist right and another thing is let's say if you are passing the wrong let's say the IP address or the server right you can see it will take some time because it will identify like ex actually this IP address and the port number is active so we have to wait for a few seconds and after that you can see it will throw again the exception so you can see here right so established connection failed because connection host failed to respond so yeah so this is the thing you have to remember right so username and password is incorrect right then it will return as a false you can see here the false right and let's say here I'm trying to use as an admin admin and I will try to execute here the python rpc.py and now you can see it will return as an id as a tool so it will return integer that means it successfully integrate with the Odoo at the moment okay so we're using them password the database and the URL is perfect now the second thing is if you remember uh, there is a two things right uh, let's say the user like the from the Odoo side like they will either give you the password or the API key right so for that like we have to go to in the users okay so in my case like I will try to use this admin right so in my case like I will go to in the preferences right and you can see here new API key 
and I will add here my current password to generate confirm password. Uh, let's say what is the key for like Odoo RPC test demo. And once it will generate, you can see this long number automatically uh, available here, right? And now instead of the password, we have to use this one, all right? So here we don't need to use your admin and instead we have to use here our, our long api key so here we have to use this long api key right and similar we have to re-execute the rpc and now you can see here right this uh, written as a user id too and let's say if i will try to add a extra eight in the api key and i will try to use you can see simple it will return as a false right so like this way you can uh, authenticate with the odoo using the third party applications uh, it could be any files right which is supported xml rpc library like this way you can use all right so you can see once i will done right and I will refresh the screen and here again I will go to the preferences and you can see here uh, that key is available here but it's not visible that key name okay so it's hidden right it's a, if you want to delete this one you can just simply delete this one this key right and again you can go to here and you can see add a new key right and let's try the same key which we already used right so here you can see uh, let's say i will try to re-execute this python file and you can see the false right and similar let's say uh, i will use admin right and now you can see it will use the it will authenticate that successfully so what is the difference between these two right the pa normal password and api key so api key uh, is not working while you want to access that in the front end side so let's say here i will go to logged out right and simple i will use like admin and simple i will use that key right this key so this key is not accessible here you have must have to add the password for that user right after that you can log in into the odoo dashboard in the back end side or else uh, let's say you want to just completely working in the back end side silently like using the xml rpc that time the preferred way is you can generate the api key uh, that's the main advantage i hope you understood this xml rpc connection and uh, in our next session i we i'm going through the all the default methods which we already discussed in the first session about the xml rpc right so if you have any doubt related to this topic please comment below and see you in our next session